am giving a presentation at the police department here. We get a lot of snake calls in South Florida, and I want to make sure my fellow officers are prepared. Yes. I've got more venomous snakes here with me. I hear the chairs sliding back. You can put them away now. Fail. <laughs> This is the granddaddy of them all. This is something you do not ever want to get bit by, no matter what size it is. Exhibit A, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. It's the most dangerous snake in Florida. This snake has the longest fangs of any North American snake. And when it bites, it gives a lot of venom, and it gives the venom extremely deep. Unless I have a reason to put my hands on them, I, I typically just work with the sticks, especially at this size. If I reach down and grab his tail, he's probably going to turn right around and nail my hand. A, a large eastern diamondback. What's the size usually? Six, seven foot? Is that about the, the they length? Around here, they can get bigger than that, but you typically don't find them bigger than that because, again, people kill them. This is a pygmy, and he's about half grown. But he'll about double that size. This is what's commonly known around here as a ground rattler. And you can see he has a full rattle, and we probably won't even hear it in here if he gets upset, because it sounds like a bee buzzing. A lot of the bites that you've heard about are in nurseries. The animal gets into the nursery pot, and they reach in, and they feel a prick. You know, and they think it's a thorn or something, they walk away. The real problem with that is it's a long time before they get medical attention, because they don't know it was a snake bite. Captain, I just want you to make sure he is in the container, so. Love you, man. Because I know next week a pygmy's going to get in here, and I'm going to get blamed because it got left. So I came with one. I'm leaving with one. Greg shows his tense audience how to use the um, tools of the trade very, very in hopes very, they'll very squeeze rare. before they shoot. A lot of times, you know, a tool like this is essential if the animal gets into somebody's house. Because we obviously can't go in with the shotgun and you know, scatter the floor. We need to remove the animal. One of the things that we teach all law enforcement officers when you're dealing with a suspect, what do we always tell you to watch? Their hands. Well, snakes don't have hands. So the only thing you want to watch is the head. And if the animal has to be dispatched, it is extremely difficult to hit a snake with a pistol. If you do not get a head shot, the organs are extremely long. He could live for hours, even days, after being shot in the body. You know, we got, uh, we've got a lot of officers that are really, really afraid of snakes. And if this presentation can take just some of that fear and turn it into respect, I think they'll be able to handle themselves a lot better on these calls.